Okay, guys, Prince Sports here again. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. <laughs> Yo, they did it again. The Los Angeles Clippers did it again. They blow a big lead and lose another game. Now, to the Washington Wizards' credit, they've been beating some good teams this season. They beat the Brooklyn Nets, I believe, twice. They beat the Lakers. Okay, now they beat the Clippers. So they beat all championship contending teams. They Jeez. They got victories over. But ask yourself, did they really earn some of those wins outside of the Brooklyn Nets? Or is it a case of teams just blowing leads and can't sustain it? Now, you got to take your hat off to Russell Westbrook because he goes out and plays every game like it's his last. He My nigga. <laughs> plays hard. That is all you can answer for in your player. That's what I like. But what I don't like is something about the Los Angeles Clippers. They need help. They need help to sustain a lead. They're not. Nigga! Help me! Again, the Clippers need help. Nigga! Help me! They're not gonna win the championship. If they get leads and keep blowing it, how how can you keep blowing leads? And they need a point guard to control the pace of this game. I keep telling you, they need a point guard like a fish needs water. And it's bad, man. They ain't nobody to control the tempo to keep the pace of the game, to numb the game down so it won't get frantic and out of pace. And they lose leads all the time. Kawhi Leonard played great in the first half. He was like five for five. He was cooking. All of a sudden, the fourth quarter comes. Uh, he he don't he can't deliver. Fourth quarter comes. He can't deliver. Now, no Paul George, but that's no excuse. The Clippers should have won this game. They should have won this game. Kawhi Leonard should have been enough to win this game against a Washington Wizards team that's thirteen and twenty right now. They're fourteen and twenty. You know, so their Washington Wizards team is a beatable team. Then they got hit with dagger after dagger, and they just gave this game away again. You know, Kawhi Leonard was a hmm a disappearing act in the fourth quarter. I guess that's the base the bet best way to, to explain it. Um, yeah, he was a disappearing act. Now he did pass the ball to Pat Bev a couple times. Pat Bev got hot, but man. Kawhi Leonard was out of mind, out of sight, picked up a lot of offensive fouls, was in foul trouble, had five fouls, and he couldn't get into an offensive rhythm. And he went damn near scoreless almost in the fourth quarter. He wasn't really doing nothing in the fourth quarter. You know, he was just going through the motions, man. And check this play out. Let's look at here. This is what we got. Mo Wagner. Gets the ball again, right? Wagner gets the ball again. Here come Westbrook. This is the play that broke the camel's back. Now you can see Westbrook is backing the ball down, getting ready to set up a play. Now look, look how Wagner delivers this dagger to the Clippers. They blow a big lead. And here it goes. Dagger, that's it. That game, that play, turned the whole shift of the game. After that happened, everything went downhill for the Clippers. <laughs> so now you see after that play, that's when shit hit the fan at that point. The Clippers need to do something. They need to do something in the fast. After this All-Star break is over with, the All-Star game is this Sunday. I'll be on live for that. But after this All-Star break is over with, the Clippers better do something to get themselves a point guard. They got nobody on this team to control the pace of the game. Nobody. It just gets frantic and out of control, and next thing you know, it's done. The lead is over with. Oh, well. <laughs> you know? Um, they ain't going to win a championship like this, even with Paul George. They will not win the championship if they can't hold on to leads. No, they lose their offensive rhythm. They lose their defensive rhythm to a point where they're struggling on both ends of the floor, and they let the other team get back in the game. Prince Sports out. Peace.